Okay, so a few weeks back, I talked about making a vinyl application table using a laminator, which I have taken apart, and a track system. I have a table already that's an eight foot long table, but the problem is I have to convert it to a 10 foot long table uh, to make this happen. So we have a ton of vinyl that we are gonna have to apply to boards tomorrow. And this project has been sitting there waiting to get done and it cannot wait any longer. So I'm about to get to it. I'll show y'all what I'm doing. So you can see I've taken off my cutting pad, which I had on my table. This is a five foot by eight foot cutting pad. And I already had a two by 12 by 10 foot long. And so what I did was I just ripped it in half and I'm, I'm putting one on each side. So I just have this clamped down from now. Um, we're gonna be installing a lot of graphics onto eight foot boards, which means an eight foot table is not long enough. It's gotta be a 10 foot table. So we got a one foot overhang on this end and a one foot overhang on this end. We have track, this, this is so heavy. We have track that's gonna go on, these are five foot pieces. So I got two pieces of track on each side. And this has the bearings in it. So this is what's gonna get attached to the laminator. And this is the side of the laminator that's going to get attached to the track. So I'm basically gonna take, the plan is anyway, to drill holes so that this will slide along the track. So that is the plan anyways. And actually, it's not even right. They're gonna go. No, that is right, that is right. This is the inside, this is the inside part. So that'll be just perfect. I had to get some impact ready drill bits for metal. Also got this nice little thing for making my holes a little bit bigger, just the right size I need them to be. The thickness of this table is exactly one and a half inches, which is great because that means I can take another piece of uh, two by four material um, to put in its place. And because this is one foot long right here, I went ahead and bought a two by 12 uh, to go across there. And obviously I'm gonna put a couple of stringers coming from this end and a stringer there. That way there's no, nothing that's gonna be sagging at all. So this will end up being a 10 foot surface. And then in order to bring it all together, my plan is to take one of these three millimeter five by 10 ACM boards. I'm just gonna put that on the top because it's a perfect five foot by 10 foot piece. Domino's pizza has been ordered. My family is on the way. They're gonna help me out tonight. So hopefully we can get this done. We'll see. Okay, my wife just left to go pick up our daughter from her tennis match and take my son home take the pizza away from here so I can stop eating it. Um, just a reminder, this table right here are two Uline mobile workbench tables. The biggest ones that they have, well, may, maybe not the biggest ones they have. It's the kind where they're two and a half feet wide because I put two of them together so it'd be a five foot wide table by eight foot long. And so I bought those when I first moved into the shop back last November, almost one year ago, I bought those. And uh, they're mobile, they're all on wheels, and they've been a good table for us. Um, I liked them because I thought that some configurations, I'd wanna put them long ways, like when I'm doing big EDDM campaigns, but I've really always kept them side by side like this. Um, so far you can see, let me show you this up close. I got my sideboard on each side done. Um, I used a bolt going through there. I didn't want to do a bolt on the top because I want to leave room for my track. I got 
a cross piece right here, another cross piece right here. So now these two tables have become one table. Um, I have the same situation going on over here. Cross beam, cross beam. And this right here is exactly 12 inches. So my next step in the evolution of this table is to get the top done over here, five foot by one foot, five foot by one foot. And I got my uh, two by 12 right there. So I'm gonna get to it. Okay, more progress on the table. I got the top on the ends. And I'm telling you what, guys, it's almost Halloween. I have the perfect name for this table. This is gonna be Frankenstein. This is the Frankenstein table for many reasons, but timing of the year is just absolutely perfect. I'm gonna do a little vacuuming and then I'm gonna bring the little top over here, put that on next. Good morning, it's the next day. Frankenstein is almost complete. I have the ACM board on top. I did have to put, you can see here, another board right here. It needed another piece of thickness on each side in order to have the perfect amount of space for mounting the laminator roller on the top. So I couldn't find my bubble last night, my level, bubble level. And so I decided to call it quits. I remember I to Lamar when he was going to install some graphics at the post office. So I'm hoping it's in his car and I'll see him in the morning. We'll see. We gotta finish this today, this morning, because we have an entire roll right here full of graphics that we need to install. Okay, this, the roller's setting on the table, so my thought process is if I have this thing to the setting where it can still go below the table, essentially, so that it can tighten down really tight, that's what I need to do. I don't even know if that makes sense. I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning to explain this well. <laughs> All right, so here's my bearing. The bearing is gonna get installed on the bottom, on the inside of this thing right here, but on the bottom of it even. So, um, bottom of this line right here, and it's already at its lowest setting. So if I wanna be able to tighten down on the table, that means I need to install the track a little bit below this. That way there's enough room to tighten, but it doesn't have to be crazy. So that's the case. I don't know, take much. And I don't wanna take away the ability to raise it above a certain thickness of material, but I mean, I should have plenty of play with there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line about right here. And whatever that measurement is, I'm gonna make a bunch of marks along here and then we'll install the rail along the marks. Okay, this line is where that bearing was. This line is where I moved it down a smidge. But you know what? Just to make it easy, I'm gonna make my mark at four inches going all the way across. I think that'll work. All right, I got one track installed. Hopefully it's pretty darn even going all the way across because otherwise we're not gonna have even pressure. But right here is where the track comes together. relatively smooth.
the vinyl application table was a pretty good success. I am pretty darn pleased with it. Um, we had to apply a lot of vinyl today for a um, amusement park that's opening up and they're opening up Saturday and they kind of didn't get us the information until, you know, two days ago. So we printed a bunch of signs yesterday, laminated them this morning, and we had a ton of signs to lay vinyl on three millimeter ACM boards and six millimeter ACM boards. And so I stayed very late last night until about 10 o'clock working on the vinyl application table because I knew I knew I was just going to need it. And I'm so glad I did. It worked out really well. I had to, um, there's a couple of little, little small issues with it and, and I can get in that to a, another time, but, um, overall totally pleased with it. I told the team, I gave it a B plus today, which in my book is good enough. <laughs> it's not a CWT $17,000 table. Um, but let's talk about that. The cost for this table, to be fair, those two tables I bought last November when I first opened the shop. So I splurged on them a little bit. Each table was basically $950 at Uline. And so $2,000 worth of tables right there. Technically speaking, I already had the tables, already owned them. I did spend $1,250 on a uh, cold, 63 inch cold laminator from Amazon. I think it was 63 inch. I'll have a link below. I purchased that. So I took it apart. I had no idea if this was gonna work, but man, I got this to work. Um, I bought the tracks. Uh, I cannot remember how much the tracks were. I'll link those below. Off the top of my head, I do not remember how much they were. Um, I do have two extra sets of tracks though. So if someone else wants to make a table out there and you're close to Whiteville, North Carolina, um, you're welcome to them. These things would cost a lot to ship though because they're quite heavy. But so, so excited that I had that table done. Um, I'm probably not gonna be at the shop much longer. We're probably gonna be in a new space, which means I'm gonna have to be taking this table apart very soon. But that is for another video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Please, if you found this video helpful at all, like, subscribe, share. That'd be fantastic. See you next time.